Hi, I'm the narrator, and I'm here to tell you... Ahem. I'm here with my cam up to tell you about Pittsburgh. So in 1754, these guys with funny accents chased out these militia dudes and were like... Ha ha ha! This looks like a good place for a fort. And some other guys with some more funny accents were like... Good day, old chap. Long live the king. Give us a fort, why don't ya? But the first guys with the funny accents were like, No, nah, no, nah, this is awful, you English pig dog. Then some idiot named George Washington made an oopsie and sparked a global conflict, which Britain, not the UK, that comes later, won. The English take the fort and name it after this guy. No, not you, you're earlier. This guy. Nothing happens in the area for a while, unless you're Fort Pitt, in which case you're demolished, or you're Pennsylvania, in which case you're no longer a colony, but a part of this new wacky country called the United States, who's run by this idiot, who's actually not an idiot at all, but the first president. Pittsburgh became a borough, but boroughs are boring. And Pittsburgh is too cool and industrializing too fast for that. And March 1816, it became a city. It, it, it didn't qu look quite like that yet. As early as 1819, the city was uh, developing new mills and factories, iron, Cotton, glass, brass. Uh oh, there's a civil war now. Pittsburgh explodes into an important financial hub uh, and political center that fuels the war effort and the city. Stop reading off of the phone. That fuels the war effort and the city also helps former slaves escape through the Underground Railroad, which it goes like underneath the thing. It's like. It's not an actual railroad. A metaphorical railroad that helps them escape to Canada and freedom. So now the Civil War is over. Yay. And the city is getting bigger and more developed. People like Andrew Carnegie are throwing out those fat stacks in philanthropy. I got more. Jumping forward, it's the 50s, and Pittsburgh is a leader in heavy industry and <laughs> catch up for some reason. <coughs> oh. We get rid of the smoke and fog though. It's made living here more unbearable than being with your family at an awkward Thanksgiving dinner. These people can help. They'll pass some new smoke control legislation, uh, build some new parks where those factories used to be. We'll help too. We'll take all the factories that are running this city's economy and we'll leave. So they did leave and Pittsburgh's economy crashed in the 70s and 80s. So they did the only thing they could do. They turned to drugs, Ph pharmaceuticals. The city went modern and converted to a tertiary economy based on medicine, education, robotics, and this new, less air killy stuff called renewable energy. They also got into tourism and have some pretty decent sports teams. So in conclusion, Pittsburgh, it's a city.